Hello and welcome back to Drunk on Wonderlust. Now today it's a very exciting day. It's our first overnight trail of 2023. We're doing the Calder Woodland Way with some of our officially smashed it hiking club. We're just about to meet the rest of the gang, then we're gonna get going. The Calder Woodland Way is 23 and a half miles long, starting in Brickhouse and winding through the Calder Valley to the finish in Walston. Come on, this way! <laughs> Little gremlin. <laughs> The route starts out by following the Calder Way Trail along the canal towards Brookfoot Lake. You can find this trail and loads more for free on the Hiker app. Who am I? <laughs> Who knows? We're joined on this trail by some members of our officially smashed it hiking club. We had met up previously at Brickhouse Station and we're excited to get on our way. <laughs> Along this section we had the river colder on our left and the canal on the right and some duckies performing a synchronised swimming routine. What a treat! Oh look, it's only Steph, isn't it? Endurance Adventures. <laughs> Kiri! Yeah, that's Steph, a fellow YouTuber. So check out her channel, Endurance Adventures. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Time to leave the canal path and start heading up into the woods. We could see by the elevation graph, this trail was gonna have its share of ups and downs. So this is actually a warm-up hike for one of the many long distance trails that we're going to be doing this year. We're going to document all of them on the channel, so stay tuned because we've got a lot of exciting content coming up. We're going to be doing the Bob Graham Round, the Dartmoor Way, the Cape Wrath Trail. It's going to be epic and we're doing most of them with the officially Smashed It Hiking Club. So if you want to get involved, we're going to leave the link in the description, so come and join us. And now we're going through a very thin little opening. To this side we have some holly. Yeah. To this side we have some sheep. And what a great warm-up trail. We just love hiking through woodland. And even in the winter, the trees had a certain magical quality. We had a great group with us this weekend. First up behind me, that's Steve, followed by little James. Behind him, that's Steph from Endurance Adventures. Then we've got Lizzie. And finally, last but not least, we've got Big James. Way! Joyous. Oh, go away. <laughs> he's hello. Awesome. Oh, hello, hello close up today. Thank you very much. Now, did I happen to mention Danny's a bit of a drama queen when it comes to getting her feet wet or dirty? No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big trouble. My leg this one. isn't long enough. If I hadn't done okay. this one, I could split these. I can't. I'll fall back. It doesn't matter if you think it is, isn't it? This is a hate crime, okay. Right, we're gonna jump on that and then jump like that. Look, 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 <laughs> bum, bum. This is Danny Cam. 
I'm out of puff. Nearly had an anxiety attack going up a hill. Can't breathe. Doggy be knowing. Oh, hello, doggy. Doggy. <laughs> doggy. Yeah. This house is called Boggart House, which is a word from Harry Potter. It transforms into the thing you fear the most. There you go, a bit of Harry Potter trivia. Thanks, Danny. But here's a quick question for everyone watching out there. What hikes have you got planned for 2023? Please drop us a comment. We love hearing from you all. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Snacks. Oh, the snacks. We needed a little sugar boost. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> it was coming up to lunchtime and we hadn't covered as much ground as we'd hoped. We were only just leaving Ellen Park Wood, so it was time to get a bit of a shift on. Everyone's taking off layers. Are you warm? It's muggy. I checked the map and it looked as if we'd only done five miles or so, although it felt like more, but we needed to speed things up if we didn't want to be hiking in the dark later. Oh, I'm cheeky chappy. <laughs> cheeky cheeky. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? No, no absolutely clue. not. Weeder. <laughs> if in doubt, stop for lunch. Hobnobs. Hobnobs? Oh, oh tempting. Oh, 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 have had our snacking tins and we're off got about eight and a half miles nine and a half further guys we can do it <laughs> I had a sneaking suspicion we might be needing our head torches later. Still around nine and a half miles to go to get to Hebden Bridge, where the guys were staying this evening. And to make matters worse, construction work was blocking our route. We had to improvise a way down to the road. Now that was teamwork. We made it down safe and sound and was back on our way. We were now in more woodland heading towards Sowerby Bridge. The mud was a bit slippery in some places, but the trail was pretty and I was really enjoying it. So Steph has just told us that the Calder Valley, which is where we're filming this trail, was actually part of the filming locations for the TV series Happy Valley. Fun fact. And just as we caught sight of Salby Bridge, it started pissing it down. Okay, we've got just under five miles left to go before we get to our Airbnb. Uh, we're in Salby Bridge and we're now heading along the Rochdale Canal. The weather is shit. We're tired, but we're going to make it. Good dancing. Thank you. <laughs> the guys were staying in a hostel in Hebden Bridge, but myself, Danny and Steve had chosen Airbnb. We decided not to wild camp this time, although we did spot a couple of tents en route. Even though I love a good wild camp, tonight's weather was pretty miserable and we've been up since half five as had to catch four different trains to get here this morning. And due to the fading daylight and the rain, we decided to stick to the canal path for the last few miles instead of heading back into the woods. Good morning, everybody. So here we are on day two of the colder woodland way. Um, last night we stayed in a gorgeous little Airbnb, had a nice 10 hours sleep, so I'm feeling more refreshed and recharged. The end of last of yesterday was a bit intense. The last kind of um, 
few miles it started absolutely pissing it down and it was pitch black and we were kind of walking and plodding along along the canal just desperate to get into somewhere warm and dry but we did it we managed it and we're feeling a lot better today the weather's looking better as well it's looking like it's going to be nice and dry and we can't wait to finish it because look we're going to have our next officially smashed it medal to the collection this is a really cute one Ooh. That is officially smashed it.com. We'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end. Um, yeah, some of the guys stayed in the hostel in Hebden Bridge. We're about a mile before that. So we're going to head into town. We're going to meet up with them. And then we're going to carry on all the way to the finish line. So come on, let's do it. The Airbnb we stayed in was located in Hawksclough. We'll leave the details in the video description. We had around a mile's walk to get to Hebden Bridge Station where we were meeting back up with the group. Unfortunately, Big James wouldn't be joining us today, but we were meeting Claire, who would jump in with us for the second day. I spy with my little eye. Kiri. It was quite a climb out of Hebden Bridge, but the scenery over the Calder Valley definitely made up for it. There she is, giving her Rapunzel locks a little brush. How you doing this morning? Bad because I've not been taking my inhaler. Oh, silly girl. Yeah. Be alright once we stop going uphill. Yes, I think it's raining. Just spitting. Just one final push uphill until we reach the top. And what a view! She wants to move here. We're gonna move, we're gonna set up a tent in the woods. No, not <laughs> Wild camp our days away. No. You'd be happy with that in the rain, in the wind? I should really watch where I'm going because I'm gonna fall over in a minute. Woo well, we've got to uh, this little section and uh, it's the perfect opportunity for a wild camp around here. There's even a fire pit over there that someone's made. I don't endorse that doing their open air fires in that way you're not supposed to but I'm just saying they've done it obviously because the land is flat around here so if you wanted to camp this is the spot we'll show you on the map come on follow me for some more <laughs> I was really enjoying this pretty woodland section although we were glad we had the GPS as the path was really difficult to follow without it there were so many interweaving trails everywhere then we came across the most gorgeous waterfall. So we've stopped for a little snack stop. We've got about six miles to go, so it's not quite as horrific as yesterday. It's been really beautiful so far. It's looked a little bit like Lord of the Rings. We've crossed a little stream. It's been quite um, a lot of elevation as well. So I'm out of puff, but yeah, doing good. Fancy bath? No. <laughs> this was another brief section where a GPS map came in handy just before you head back down towards the Rochdale Canal.
everyone was doing really well and we'd almost hit the halfway point as we crossed over the bridge of the canal. <laughs> it was time to climb again and appreciate the views over the moors. We could see Studley Pike in the distance and it made for an impressive shot of this end of the Calder Valley. Now I haven't actually seen Happy Valley myself, but if you think it's worth a watch, let me know in the comments. We came across another waterfall en route before reaching Todmorden, where we had a cheeky wine stop at Weatherspoons before tackling the last few miles. Just a few last miles to go. It had been quite an adventure. It was making me excited for the next one. How far away are we now? Million miles. <laughs> a <laughs> mile and a half. Mile and a half. Come, look at this. Look at the view. Beautiful. We've got two long distance trails coming up in April. The first one is the Dartmoor Way, which I'm really excited about. We've also got the White to Dark Way in the Peak District. Oi oi, Savaloi. Now, if you want to join us on either one of these trails, make sure you check out the link in the video description to our officially smashed it hiking club. I had to do my second wild wee, even though I only just went for a wee in Wabberspoons because I had wine, so it was a wine wee. Always oversharing, that's what we love. Now this last bit was glorious, although we did have to navigate some boggy sections. The views of the moor in the golden hour were stunning. Just five more minutes to the finish line, the train station in Walsden. Well done to everyone, we officially smashed it. Celebrate your hiking achievements with officially smashed its sustainable non-plastic souvenirs. We hand make these beautiful collectible medals for any hiking trail or mountain. Each medal has a magnet on the reverse and a detachable branded ribbon. We also donate money from each sale towards planting new trees with the organisation Just One Tree. These medals are perfect as a gift and we'll even personalise them on request. We're also excited to announce that you can now find our products in selected retailers along with our online stores.